Hi, it's Curtis from TI. I'm here to talk to you a little bit about the um, TI Inspire software for students. Um, and so when you first open it up, I want to show you a few features here. There's uh, this little documents toolbox here across the top here. This is where you can select your emulator um, to get the right calculator for you if you want to change the color of it from dark to light or um, maybe even an outline version of that. You can do, definitely do that there. Uh, I'm going to leave it um, dark here for that because it matches the cast. Um, there's also the slide, the page sorter here. You can see all of the different slides inside of a lesson. I'll come back to that here in just a little bit. Um, but first things first, I want to make sure that you understand how to get um, a document open or, or be able to insert a graph. So the very first thing when you open it up, you've got this screen here from a, a new document that says press menu. So you can press the menu key just like you would on your calculator. You can also just select the screen using your mouse. Either one will work, but I'm going to use this over here. Um, and then selecting option number two gets me a graph. And here I can type in a, a function maybe like x squared, um, I don't know, plus two or something. Um, so I can have that put in there. And from there, I can do all kinds of things. I can move my graph around. I can, I can grab and drag and do the sorts of things that you might have done uh, on a handheld or, or things of that nature. Next, I wanted to um, share with you that you can also access the, the um, scratch pad. You can get the calculator scratch pad or, or the graph scratch pad. Um, here, remember that those are not connected to the document that you've actually got open. Next, I wanted to be sure that um, you can know that you've got the, the ability to access um, documents that maybe a teacher has sent you or you've downloaded from the internet or something like that. So you can use the, the open uh, selection piece here. So you can grab, uh, open a document uh, up here, but you can also find content on your computer using this folder um, right here. So you're, that's more or less a, a computer explorer. You can do all kinds of uh, digging around on your desktop or other folders in your calculator or in your um, computer. I'm just going to open up a document here just so you can see um, that that's there. Um, so I've selected one off of my desktop. Also, you can download a file from, say, online in our Math Inspired section of our website or maybe a Google um, Drive file that your teacher has sent you. So um, if you go to your web browser and you go to Math Inspired, you can click on, a, on an activity file, um, download it here, and uh, say show in folder. And then you can open the file from there. Um, and that gives you another way to open up files, say, from online if they're shared to you that way. You can, um, from here, you can open up and check out any of the pages in your document. Um, so this is one advantage of the software. It's really easy um, to grab and drag um, or grab and look at a, a particular um, slide in, the, in a document, a particular page in the document. You can skip around and see all kinds of different pieces in there. So um, it's really a nice uh, feature of being able to explore the entire contents of a, of a particular uh, document. So I wanted to share with you one other thing, a couple of more things actually um, here. I wanted to um, show you how to take a screenshot. So if you notice that, uh, that little camera icon up in the upper left hand corner here, I can get the capture page. Um, piece, which you can notice that there's also a shortcut called Control J. Um, so I can click that and get a screenshot. You'll notice I get a little uh, notification right here in the corner that my screenshot has been taken. I can click uh, to view it. I'm going to also just give you a tip. If you um, are taking some screenshots and you don't want the mouse to be a part of it, you don't want it to be uh, hovering over something or it kind of in the way or distracting, get it away from uh, the different things and use Control J. Um, and when you take that screenshot, that, that uh, screen will not have the mouse in it. You can see the difference from the one where I selected the, the camera icon up there. You can see my mouse, and this one doesn't have the mouse. So if I'm going to paste that into a document, uh, I can do that. There's a save button. I can save these as files. I can copy and paste any one of these into uh, a document, or I can even just grab and drag. So I'll grab this and drag it into a Word document. Uh, here for um, just for an example and then I can resize it to whatever size I need uh, at that point. So those are a few tips for using this software at home. I just wanted to be sure that you've got an opportunity to be introduced to that. Um, 
Again, you can, if you have any questions or, or more looking for more information on how to use the software, you can always find us on YouTube. Check us out there. You can just search TI Education or Texas Instruments Education and you can find us uh, there on YouTube. Thank you very much.